welcome to another video and let's solve this problem given that y y prime prime equals y prime all square and let's see the solution for ordinary y and the first thing we are going to do here is you know this one can be written as y y prime prime equals and we can write this in two times as y prime multiply y prime and on getting this we know the word uh the letter y prime prime is known as the second derivative of di so we have the square y divided by the x square that is we are differentiating with respect to x and for y prime is the first derivative which is the y divide the x so that is anything we'll be dealing with here must be along uh, with respect to x then let's divide both sides by y prime so on doing that one of these cancelled and here we have y y prime prime divided by y prime equals y prime and again let's multiply by the reciprocal of y then we are going to have this multiplying the two sides so where this and this cancelled and therefore we have y prime prime divided by y prime equals y prime divided by y so the next thing we are going to do here is let's introduce integral to both sides and we are integrating with respect to x that is here is the x here is also the x and we know when we integrate the left hand side we are going to have the ln of the denominator which is ln y prime equals while for this we have ln y plus let's say i choose c and where this c is the constant of integration and again if i transfer ln y to the left hand side we have ln y prime minus ln y equals c and from the rule of logarithm if you have ln of a minus ln b or we can have it as ln a divided by b therefore by applying it here we have this as ln of y prime divided by y equals c so the next thing to do here is i want to make sure that there is no ln here again and what to do is we introduce exponential to both sides as we know that exponential and ln they are inverse of each other then we have this equals exponential of c so if e can sue ln we are going to have the left hand side as y prime divided by y equals exponential c but note that i can let exponential c to be another letter because exponential c itself is a constant value which is always constant so if i let it to be a so we are going to replace this with a and again on getting to this since our aim is to get the value of y we are going to introduce another integral to both sides that is we are to introduce integration to both sides so just to have the aim which is the value of y so by introducing integral to both sides so here we have integral of y prime divided by y and here is the x equals integral of a the x so we have done this already i mean the left hand side which is equivalent to ln y equals and by taking a outside which is the constant we are left with integral of the x and integral of the x is x plus constant so therefore we have ln y equals so a is a x and s a plus b and that b is also a constant of integration so we 
be the constant of an integration and you can choose it to be anything all right so if i don't use b i can use c i can use l i can use m so far it is a constant so to get the value of y here we are going to introduce exponential to both sides for the second time we have e ln y equals e raised to the power of all this which is ax plus b and if e cancel ln therefore we are going to have y equals so we can separate this by product rule which is exponential ax dot exponential of b and where exponential b is also a constant so which i can let it to another letter and the letter i'm going to choose here is let's say i choose a1 so i want it to correspond with the power of this exponential which is a so by letting exponential b to be equals to uh, a1 so therefore we replace it here and we have the result of y to be equals to this that is y equals exponential ax dot a1 or we can just rewrite it as y equals a1 exponential of ax and this gives the result of y in the differential equations above so this is how uh, i solve this problem and please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you have another way of doing this you can drop it in the comment box i would dearly appreciate it thanks for always engaging in our video and uh, please uh criticism is allowed and let it be constructive i will see you in the next class Bye-bye.